Sweetheart is a brand new 2019 Blumhouse monster movie. It is PG-13, so that is definitely a warning up front for some of you who are like, there's never going to be a good PG-13 horror movie. I've seen it in the comments enough. So it's PG-13, so there you go. You don't need to watch it. So anyways, I'm not saying that you shouldn't. I'm just saying for those PG-13 haters, you need to know that, and then you're done with it anyways. I'm going to give a shout out to Teddy Brown, who has this as his number one movie of the year or horror movie of the year, one of the two. Um, he absolutely loves this movie. This was just released to Netflix today. It was dropped on Christmas Day. And I'll tell you this right up front, this definitely should have been in theaters over Black Christmas, Blumhouse, okay? It is much better than fucking Black Christmas, but what isn't? Death House, that's about it. <laughs> Anyways, so I don't even know why I have my notes in my lap because I don't have any damn notes for this. All right, so Sweetheart is about a young lady, mid-20s. She washes up on shore of this little island uh, along with somebody else. Eventually, she is there by herself and she figures out that she has been trapped on this island with a creature, a monster. Um, and that's, I mean, that's as much setup as you're going to need. This movie is fast. Let me tell you what. And I don't really mean fast pace. I mean, it is, it is short. So when I say fast, I mean like it started and I felt like it was 20 minutes long and it was over. So it just felt like it went by so fast for me. Um, now, overall, I liked it. I definitely didn't love it. I definitely did not think it was the best of the year. Sorry, Teddy. But... Here's my issues with the movie. First, I want to say positives. Number one, I think the main girl gives a good performance. Number two, the film looks good and the setting is good. Um, it very much feels like an isolated island, so they did a good job portraying the island and the isolation of it. Now, I will say that as part of a negative in a minute, but let's stick to this for now. And the biggest positive I have is the creature itself. Monster movies a lot of the times can lack when it comes to the actual monster. So we can have a lot of buildup, a lot of buildup, and then when the monster's revealed, it's like, what the hell is that? That's awful. That completely ruined the movie. Look no further than a movie called Man vs. Holy Shit. I literally turned the movie off the second the monster was shown. I got up, I said, fuck no, and I shut the movie off. True story. It was that dumb looking it was like cgi from like the late 90s in a brand new movie and it was an incredible build up to that moment of like 60 minutes and i was so excited it felt like a predator and then it was shown and i was like fuck no absolutely not sci-fi channel wannabe bullshit anyways moving on from there the creature in this when shown is really cool uh, I absolutely was on board with it. It was a unique looking thing. It kind of reminded me, I don't know if this is a spoiler-ish kind of thing. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say what the monster reminded me. I will just let you guys um, see it for yourself and then maybe drop me a comment below and tell me and I'll say, yeah, that was it or no, that wasn't it, whatever. Anyways, moving on from there. So kind of getting back to what I was saying earlier about the positives of the isolation of the island. On the negative sides of that, I don't feel like the island is a big enough character. Like, I feel like we could have played around more with... Like, she's always at the very edge of the island. Yes, it's not a very big island, but we don't really explore much of the island. We don't really go inland. As I said, it's not a very big place, but I just feel like there could have been more exploration of the island and looking around and whatnot, and it just doesn't happen. It isn't necessary, no, but the film sets up a lot of stuff, and it don't. I don't really feel like it does much with it. Like there's a lot of questions being posed here throughout the film. So you have this character, and during the film, we're kind of questioning her sanity or possibly her. Um, morality because other characters come into the movie who to me were completely pointless because there's things set up with them especially with another character that we never meet and there's hints at something maybe 
more like insidious happened there and then it's like okay did it did it not like that went nowhere what was the point of that and then the interactions they have with each other and then the relationships that they have with one another and how that plays into it and i'm thinking oh this is going to play dramatically they're going to play off of each other things are going to happen they're going to turn on one another something and while it does kind of happen, not really. Not enough to justify or warrant them even being there. Like, I felt like I had as much going on before they got there as when they got there. And when they were introducing the drama of these characters, it didn't help the movie. It didn't push it forward where I was like, oh, wow, now that raised the stakes. Because if you're going to introduce more to a movie like this, if you're going to introduce new characters and give them these dramatic moments, that should add to the tension. It should add to the weight. It should add to, um, you know, as I said, uh, the, the stakes of the movie. And it just didn't. And it really didn't go anywhere. And as I said before as well, with her and what's going on in her mind or with her past, they kind of hint at some things with her... Uh, with her boyfriend and with these characters and it just amounts to nothing and at the end of it you know you kind of get this showdown and while the showdown's okay it's fine it's good it's not great it's not super climatic like climatic it's not like predator or something insane not even close and that's a film that I guess it kind of reminds me of it's just like a man versus a monster in nature uh, of course, this is a woman, but you know what I'm talking about. It, it just, it's a fine movie. I think going into it as a PG-13 movie, you're thinking, oh, this is going to be garbage, and it's good. So your low expectations actually bump it up to like, oh, wow, that, that was actually good. I wasn't, exp I wasn't expecting it to be good. So it actually makes you feel like it's better than it is, in my opinion. So having walked away from it a, uh, you know, a little bit ago, I just kind of... I guess because Teddy was blowing it up so much, my favorite of the year, I went into it going, wow, I, I really can't wait to see what happens in this movie. And it just kind of amounts to not much. Like, I've seen a lot of Trapped on Island stuff. Shit, I watched six seasons of Lost. So I've seen uh, where a bunch of people get trapped on an island and then they think there's this smoke monster and there's so much depth. Yes, they have more time to explore this, but this movie... Ha could have added another 10, 15 minutes. Here's a movie that I actually feel like needed more time. A lot of the times we talk about how movies need to cut scenes. This movie needed to add scenes. It needed to add more character drama to, as I said earlier, raise the stakes, have a purpose for them being there. I feel like the movie would have been the same at the end had no one showed up at all. So what are they? They're just kills waiting to happen like i don't know i i feel like this film had potential and it just kind of squandered it because y you don't really know anything about how they got there on the island maybe that maybe something happened there maybe there's some kind of dramatics that happened there maybe something went wrong maybe we're gonna find out about it maybe and it's kind of maybe hinted at because as i said ever meant nothing like it just it happens Monster versus girl, movie ends kind of thing. I know that sounds spoilery, but I'm just trying to make you understand what you're getting yourself in for if you're getting into this being like, oh, this is going to go places. It doesn't really go anywhere, and that's a shame for me. Anyways, um, it's an okay monster movie, and, and PG-13 actually did hold it back for sure. We could have had some really cool kills. I mean, this is a monster movie. This thing is strong. It could have been ripping people apart. Nope. Very generic, lame kind of kills. It was okay. That's as, that's as good as I'll give it. So, anyways, sorry, Teddy. Uh, not my favorite of the year, but hey, man, I'm glad you loved it. So, anyway, let me know if you guys check it out. It's on Netflix, streaming right now. Adios.